Hello, I am Mr. Satish Thalange, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, Walshan Institute Technology, Solapur. In today's session, we are going to see the project network updating for the project management. At the end of the session, the students will be able to compare the originally scheduled network diagram of a particular project with the network diagram which is going to be updated using the critical path method for the project management. Now, let's see what is the project updating or you can say the network updating. The network updating is nothing else, it is a process of a replanning or rescheduling of the activities in the project on which the particular updating is going to be done or till the what the particular project is been completed and what the progress is there and what the progress is going to be there from the date on which the updating is going to be done. Here why we have to go for the network updating is what that if there is a change in the plan we have to go for the updating. If there is change in the activities and its duration means what if there is addition of some activities or a change in the uh, execution of the particular activity method or you can say means what for it if initially it was somewhat uh, traditionally but now it has been advanced technology has been used for the execution at that time the activity may be changed or activity are added or along with that there will be change in the duration of the activities here the change is due to the major reasons like a climatic condition or you can say the natural calamities or man-made disasters here the man-made disaster may be due to the improper planning of the equipments or tools or you can say the in, uh, due to the lack of the safety on the site due to which there may be a, a accident due to which there may be a delay in the project for that we have to go again for the updating whether the scheduled activity is going on track or not other if there is a need to uh, re-planning or rescheduling of the activity we have to go and we have to observe. Here, the time changes for the updatings are what? Assign the time of the update at which the updating is to be done. We have to assign to the updating project the date on which it is going to be updated. That will be the time, the earliest occurrence time of the starting event of the project or the tail event of the activity which is in progress. Allocate or you can say assign the zero time duration for the activities which are already completed we have to assign the zero for that the activities which are completed and we have to assign the remaining time estimate durations of to the activities which are in the progress or we have to change the activity duration as per the requirement of the change requirement here the addition or you can say the whole duration of the activity changes due to some uh, revision or you can say addition of the activity or additional of the new technology in the particular execution of the activities. Here assign the revised estimate durations to the activity for which the change is proposed. We have to collect the, all the data from the uh, uh, data information system that what is the uh, ongoing activities and what are the completed one and what are going and the activities are going to come in the future according to that we have to change overall the times of each activities which are completed ongoing and the coming activity here this is a question in which we are observing that there are the activities with the days here the particular table is showing the activities and its days and the description which is below which is showing the particularly the what is a condition or you can say what are the present situation or conditions or the data of the overall activities which are present in the projects here when we observe activity 1 2 and 1 3 are completed as originally planned it is it has been showing and activity 3 4 is in a progress and will need six more days for the completion activity 4 5 appear to be present some problem and it's now estimate time of the completion is 10 days and the activity 4 5 can be complete in 5 days instead of originally planned 7 days here see we uh, will construct the particular cpm network diagram for this particular question this is a network diagram before updating when we go the for the construction of the network diagram we have to construct 
or we have to present the network diagram with the event time as well as the activity times. Here the yellow box are above and the below the circle nodes are showing the event times and the uh, box of which are above the arrow and the below the arrows are showing the activity times and the duration with of the particular activities. Now let's see what is been what will be the project duration when we go the, for the construction of network diagram. Here we observe that there is a 41 days required to complete the overall project and the critical path one is 1, 3, 2, 5 and 6. Here these are the a particular activities which are critical one. 1, 3, 3, 2, 2, 5 and 5, 6 in the network which is not till updated as when we see the question they are saying that the project is updating going to or you can say going to update on the 14th day we have to start as per the uh, defined by the rule that the starting will be in the capital uh, the event one starting time will be the 14 that is the earliest occurrence time of event one and we have to change the durations of the particular activity which are completed or which are on the or in the progress or which are going to come but there will be a change in the duration as due to addition in the new technology or change in the activity execution methodology overall we have to collect the information and we have to assign the newly obtained durations to each activities now as it has been said that from activity 1, 2 and 1, 3 are complete as originally planned means these two activities are going to be totally complete at the day of 14th so this activity duration we have to assign 0 here initially when we see the network diagram before updating we are assigning 6 and particularly uh, 1, 2 and 1, 3, 10 now when we are updating we have to say 0 and 0 because they are completed similarly we have to see the next activities which are in the progress or which are still need to be up, uh, execute what will be the duration as per the data we are which are collected from the data source here when we see that they are saying that activity 3 4 is in the progress and will need 16 more days to for the completion activity 3 4 initially when before updating 3 4 the time required was 12 now when we are saying when we updated we have to assign uh, instead of 12 16 because this is the data which is uh, uh, particularly collected for the present project which is in the progress and activity 4 5 appears to be present some problem means as there is some problem it's now estimated time of the completion is 10 when we observe this table we, we can see that active 4 5 the time required was 7 days or you can say duration required was 7 days but when we are updating now we have to change the duration here we have to say that activity particularly 4 5 activity 4 5 instead of 7 days we are assigning as a 10 similarly we have to go for the left activity that is activity 4 6 can be completed in 5 days instead of originally planned 7 days means what activity 4 6 this is activity 4 6 which was initially before I was 7 days or required required now due to some advance you can say or some additional technology or new technology has been adapted or some machines are added for the execution or the resource are added for the execution its duration is reduced and it, we have to assign the present duration as a 5 now we have to keep the activities duration as it is which have been not described in the description okay now this is the overall network diagram after updating now again we have to follow the forward path to get the uh, particular earliest starting and earliest finishing time of each activities and as well as of events and we have to follow the backward path here which will give you the latest start time and latest occurrence time of the particular activities and the 
uh, of an event as well as when we see that after updating the project duration is 46 which was initially before updating the project duration was 41 now let's see the comparison now when we start to compare the network diagram before updating and the network diagram after updating here the critical path was 1 3 2 5 and 6 now after updating it is been 1 3 4 5 and 6 this is a, a major difference of the first first major difference of the particular network diagram before updating and the after updating here again the project duration is 41 and here the project duration is 46 second here the initial event that is one its starting time it was zero but here the initial time in after updating it is 14 which is the third major difference we have to assign for the particular network diagram this is the particular uh, network diagram presentation before and after updating these are the select the answers for the today's questions hope so you have selected the answers correctly these are the references for today's sessions thank you thank you very much